Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adults. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Monday, it's February the uh, 17th and we're gonna tell you about a production that is opening this Thursday. Uh, actually, it runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The Marriage of Figaro. Really? Yeah, welcome. We have Susan Quigley Dugan with, Dugan right. with us. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here, Susan. Thank you. Uh, the Marriage of Figaro is running at Central Methodist University. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big production, isn't it? It is a pretty, it's a big challenge, but. Yeah. When you say a big challenge, what is the most challenging part of doing a show like that? Well, first of all, originally it was written, you know, in 1786, and it's got four acts, and uh, we've had to cut it back so it would be kind of a more appropriate for an audience mm -hmm. that to, to sit and, and listen to the music. But back well, in the, Originally, how long was it? I might say three hours and 15 minutes or so. Three hours and 15 yeah. minutes, and it runs... It's a big the, commitment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For an audience today. For an audience and for the performers, right. too. It's exactly, so, exactly. But now, by cutting it down, it's how long? I'd say about two hours. And Share the story of the marriage of Figaro. Well, it's a story about two couples. Uh, uh, Susanna, the marriage of Figaro is about the wedding of Susanna and Figaro. And they're, they're, uh, he's a valet to the Count Almaviva. They live in a castle with the Count and Countess, mm -hmm. and they're servants. And um, the Count... He's, as I said, he works for the Count, and uh, Susanna works for the Countess. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's a wonderful day. They're getting married, but the problem is the Count has a, a thing for the ladies, and uh, he's a bit of a philanderer, and right now he's not paying a whole lot of attention to his wife, who's a beautiful person, but, you know, he likes all the women in the castle. Uh -huh. And he's kind of infatuated with Susanna at the moment. Even though she's getting married Married today, today right. <laughs> But, you know, back in those days, there's a tradition where the lord of the of the manor has first rights with all the women mm -hmm. in the castle. So he can at any time abolish, you know, and just just do what he feels like and abolish. Uh, he had made a rule that he wouldn't do that anymore. But now that he has a thing for Suzanne, he wants to seduce her before she before gets married. Before they get married. Exactly. Okay. So, well, does he or not? No, because they plot together. The countess, uh, his wife who's not very happy with him the at the moment. The wife knows what's going on. Yes. Okay. Figaro and Susanna, they all plot together to find a way to kind of bring him to his knees and beg for forgiveness. Mm. And How many songs are in this production? I was, you know, there's solos, arias, ensembles. I'd say maybe 20 or so all together. Oh and you've got how many students, 20? 20? 20 students as a chorus and some major leads. And Now, the two that you brought today, mm -hmm. tell us about them. As people, as students, as characters. Yeah, they're characters. They're characters. So this is Figaro. This is Figaro. As I said, he's he's um, a very clever, but not always on top of things all the time. And Figaro it, is played by Levi Gurky. Levi Gurky, right. And then Anna Kay. Anna Kay is, is Susanna, the character of Susanna, who is who is engaged and going to be married to Figaro, but she is on to the. Uh, the the uh, the attentions of the count and she's trying to he's all excited about the wedding and measuring the room for the bed and all of that <laughs> yeah but she's trying to uh, insinuate that this may not be the best place having the room right next to the mm, count's Figu room Figaro doesn't realize what's going on not yet okay all right so we have we have the song for you right now and you're singing this all in Italian yes that's right yes. all right from the marriage of Figaro take it. <laughs> Wait. 
going on with your wife <laughs> <laughs> I do pretty soon after that <laughs> okay. you have a beautiful voice is, is this a difficult part to do yes yes it's been a challenge it was a big undertaking but Dr. Duggan he's, has led us through it very right well, he's so. only 19 years old 19 and you've got a much stronger voice than that and Anna how old are you 20 your voice is beautiful also Thank you. I wish you the very best so how long have you how long have you been singing Anna um as long as I can remember I've been in choir since I was a little tyke. <laughs> is a, are you excited about doing the marriage of Yes, Figaro? very excited. Yes, it's quite a challenge. Yes. I wish you both the very best Thank you so on much. it. Thank you. It opens uh, this coming Thursday. That's right. This coming to mm -hmm. what time? 7.30. 7.30 on Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday and 2 p.m. on Sunday. A Sunday matinee. And it's located... Um, in the Little Theater in Fayette, Missouri. Okay. Central Methodist University campus. And uh, tickets for how much? Oh, we have a range $7. of tickets. Seven dollars for general admission. Oh my goodness! Right. That is a steal. For and this. students for two dollars with IDs. Oh my so. goodness! Okay, you can't pass it up. It's a marriage of Figaro at Central Methodist University. Susan, thank you so much thank for coming you, by. Best thank of luck you. to you all. We're out of time for today. Uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, the Saturday morning book talk is our topic with Kit Salter. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Rachel Gangwer and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And to watch this or listen to it again, go to kbia.org, click on Doc Shows and Radio Friends. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.